I'll tell you what. I just seen a creepy, creepy ass video. Let me tell you about it. Now, a lot of YouTubers, when they go to an abandoned place, they don't give the location, and I can't blame them. They don't want nobody watching a video to find the location of the place and vandalize it. So this guy gives, he does not get a location, and I'm glad he doesn't. But anyway, he's driving along a main thoroughfare, a main thoroughfare, main highway. And all of a sudden, he comes along a, a thrift store. You know, nice parking lot. Pulls in there. But the only problem about it, it's, it looks abandoned. In other words, there, there's, a, there's a van that's got the back door open. And as he gets out of the car, goes look up to look, gets close to the store. Uh, there, I think there's a, the, the inside of the van is taken apart. It's, it's missing. It, it looks like somebody broke down and just left a van there. Uh, weeds or, or vines are, are starting to grow up the side of the store. You know, the grass hasn't been cut. The, the, the thrift store looks to be abandoned probably two or three years. You can tell it's not in the service. You can tell that. It's been abandoned about two or three years. But as to his surprise, he goes to try the door, tries to open the door, Damn, doors open. Well, he walks in. Another shock. I, I'm watching his. I'm watching his video as he's walking. He's being shocked, and I'm being shocked. Now there are. It's daylight. I want to emphasize that it's daylight. He goes into the store, and there's there's no lights on. So he uses his bright light on his camera. And to his shock, the whole store. 98% of the store is still full. There's been a little, uh, what, what, not vandalism, no. What's that uh, What's that word? Uh, and before I clicked on this camera, I had the word on my, I already knew the word. What they call riffraff? There, there's been a little, uh, you could tell there's been some people in there to take a few things. But they haven't vandalized it. It's amazing they have it. But there have been a few people, you could tell, it's ransacked it a little bit and stole or took a few things home and there's some boxes it what looks like maybe when that when, when the truck when you know they've ordered and a truck has delivered some stuff like a typical store it looks like the the truck had delivered boxes to them and they brought the boxes in the store and it but it looks like they said the hell with it all and just left the store and never looked back that's what it looks like 98% of the store, there's still stuff on the shelf. There's real nice cameras on the shelf. There's stereos. There's dishes on the shelf. It looks like 98% of the store looks like a typical thrift store. Real nice, real nice shelves, real nice store. There are no lights in the store. I want to emphasize that. He's got to use his camera light. He's walking through the thrift store. And he finds a calendar on the wall, 2002. So that is apparently been abandoned 15 years. I don't think so because the grass, it doesn't look that bad. Out, remember I seen vines growing up, weeds growing up side of the store. There was some weeds. It's a little unkept. But I don't think it's been abandoned that long. Maybe it has. Anyway, he's going through the store finally gets to the office you know every store has got an office and they've got a little lunch room for their workers first he, he sees that office as he walks into the office he sees it before you do because you know uh, he ain't got the camera quite the right angle he says you got to be kidding me to himself he says it out loud and you th quickly you're thinking what's he talking about the damn he <laughs> The damn hard drive of the computer light is on. He, he goes, what the F? Of course, he says the, the F word. He doesn't abbreviate. <laughs> he goes over to the damn computer. <laughs> I mean, this thrift store is abandoned. You can tell that from the outside. It's abandoned. It's probably been abandoned two or three years. You can tell that. He's in his office. Like I say, he finally gets to the office. Sees a hard drive on, green light. 
Then he puts his hands on the keyboard of the computer, the desktop computer. Damn screensaver, which will look dark. The, now the computer turns on. And you see the database. What the f, f? Of course, he's saying the F word. What the F? He doesn't abbreviate. Then he f tries to find the break room where the workers took their lunches, finds it, a couple rooms over. The damn microwave's on, and the refrigerator's on. He, he actually puts his hand on the back of the refrigerator. The motor's hot where it's been running. Well, he opens up the refrigerator. Everything in the refrigerator is rotted, spoiled. Well, when he opens up the refrigerator, it's so rancid, the smell, off camera he throws up. He, oh, he said, that's sickening. If you was living there, you would not have a bad refrigerator. If you was living there, you wouldn't be making use of that damn refrigerator. You'd have your milk, cold milk in there. You'd be making use of it. But that refrigerator, all the food is spoiled. He's throwing up. He, he just the, the, the smell of the refrigerator is just too much. He's gagging. You know, he, he doesn't have the camera on him because he's th throwing up. He sort of keeps the camera on the refrigerator. He, he throws up. Oh, I can imagine how bad that smells. I've smelled old refrigerators like that. But anyway, uh, there's a little small room. I, I'm assuming maybe where the manager uh, probably lived there. I don't know. But there's a little small room where they could you could lay down in case you had a, had a headache or something. I think it was a family run thrift store. But I tell you what. Why? In the, oh, and it's so cluttered in this, especially in the office. Sorry, I'm drinking Pepsi too quick. It's so cluttered in, in this break room and office, you wouldn't be living there. Yeah, just too, a little too cluttered to be comfortable. So that we know there's nobody living there. And if they was living there, uh, you know, the power's still on. Well. Now, when he leaves a thrift store, he does do a little research on it. The owner lived a few counties away, and she died July 2017. So this, now, I, that doesn't mean uh, uh, she, she was at the store. She, she may have, uh, you know, not been back to the store for six months. I still could mean the store's been abandoned a whole year just because she, that doesn't mean she was working that day. But she died July of 2000. She'd been dead six months. And what he was thinking on camera, you know, the relatives, her family, nobody gave a shit about the store. Nice store inside. I want to emphasize that. A lot of good stuff. Cameras on the shelf for sale. All the sales price still there. It looked. It looked like they just walked up and left. And since that's been abandoned, there's been a few people in there ransacking a little bit. You can tell that. But there's no vandalism. It's where it's where people's been going through some stuff, looking for like the shipment of boxes that could. They was hoping to. You know, I wonder if they got it here. They can't find. It. They keep looking. You know the where they where they've moved shit around and they didn't and they didn't uh, clean up after themselves. It just little light ransack going ransack going on there. But can, price is still up on sale. Prices on clothes. Like I said, prices on stereos. It, it looked like it was open for business, but it was not. It was a you can tell it was abandoned when he first walked in the store. I tell you what. These videos never stop shocking me, what I see. I mean, it's amazing. Just, she dies in July 2017. Now, think from a heart attack. I'm not sure. But anyway, she died, the owner. As, as if none of her family, nobody cared and just left the store. Not even locked. I don't know why it was unlocked. That's why he was trying to think. Why would she leave a store unlocked? We're thinking maybe she died in a store. 
Well, of course, you'd still lock it up, paramedic. This doesn't make sense. I'm just reading news caution. Uh, my camera, uh, my camera, uh, uh, I think I was running, running, starting to run out of memory. But anyway, back to the, what I was talking about. But the door's unlocked. He walks right in. But surprisingly, very little, no vandalism. Just for a little ram, light ram sack going on. The ram, am I saying that right? Hell, it's early for me. Wow.